Hi, I'm Toshi Maeda, and welcome to J Stories, where ideas and technology from Japan help solve global social and environmental problems. Here's a quick look at this week's J Stories. The androids of Blade Runner aren't here quite yet. But in a world first, a Tokyo University research team has coated a robot finger with real human skin. The one and a half millimeter double layer was grown from two types of human skin cell in the lab and is slightly moist. Because it is soft and elastic, it remains undamaged when the three joint finger bends. And impressively, if the skin is cut with a scalpel, it can heal itself using a special collagen sheet band aid. In the future, the researchers hope to add other structures like nerves and blood vessels, and even link the skin up to muscles. The finger points the way to a future when prosthetic limbs could be covered in real skin. It might also lead to lab grown real leather products or skin coated 3D models for testing cosmetics. Some aspects of Japanese culture can seem a little strange to people in other countries. For example, if your culture doesn't consider seaweed edible, you might be shocked to learn that seaweed plays an important role in Japanese cuisine. A Tokyo company is working to share such traditional Japanese knowledge with the world. It has run more than 30 education programs in the Japanese countryside and welcomed participants from all over the globe. During their stay of about one week, participants learn from local instructors. Then, when they go home, they apply that traditional knowledge in their own communities. And the company believes traditional Japanese knowledge can help us handle modern problems. One ongoing project is a bio toilet based on wisdom that dates back to the time of the samurai. Complex fermentation processes are a feature of Japanese foods and drinks, such as miso paste, soy sauce, and sake. But here, fermentation is used to turn human body waste into a soil enriching fertilizer. A number of Japanese and European companies are helping with the project, and a prototype bio toilet is planned for March next year. Project leader Yukako Saito says she decided to make fertilizer because soil is so vital for the Earth's health and future. That's all for this week from J Stories. Please visit our website at jstories.media for more details on these stories. Thank you for watching and stay tuned for more solutions and inspirations from Japan.